Okay, we got here with literally only six minutes to spare. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm running so behind this morning. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So today's video is gonna be the meal prep that I promised you guys last week where I did a full week of meal prep, three meals a day, um, and it was super affordable and very, very easy. If you've been on my channel a minute, I am like no chef. I don't like anything that's crazy, um, that has like a ton of steps or that's like super hard. So it's a really affordable meal prep that I've used in the past when I have leaned down and been very diligent on my fitness journey. It's just worked really well for me. It's affordable, it makes me feel good. So that's what today's video is. I was gonna just hop right into that and do a little voiceover and it just be strictly the meal prep but I feel like the video ended up being just too short and I'm coming to F45 today anyway so I figured I would just film my workout for you guys today kind of take you along um, we just pulled up I'm doing the 10 15 a.m. 22 warrior workout that's what it says on our schedule here for today I don't know what that means just probably another workout of death I don't know that one um, this is only my third time at F45 so far and I love it. A lot of you were asking last week like what's my review on it? Do I like it? I think it's great so far. Um, it's I believe that it's the push and the team like motivation that I need. The trainer here, he's so nice and but he pushes you really hard and he kind of comes around to each station and helps me like with my form and if I don't know how to do something. Everyone so far has been very welcoming at this specific location. So, I'll obviously give a more detailed review later after I've been going like for months. Uh, but so far it's super super hard and I love it I think it's exactly like what I've been needing so I'm gonna take you guys along I'm gonna double check with my little station partner you get a different partner every time you go depending on like who shows up for the class uh, I'm gonna check with her and just make sure it's okay if I film I already asked the main guy who owns this because I didn't know but each one is like a privately owned franchise and he said I could film he said they film all the time for social media but um, there's a person who's like super close to you in each station so I'm just gonna check and see whoever I get paired with today and make sure she's cool with it and then I'll be able to film it. Um, but yeah, I thought I would take you guys along my workout and then we'll get home and do the meal prep. I think I'll try this a new way. I'm gonna show you the tricks that I know. I'm getting tired of talking. And I need more of a show right now. It's time that you made your mind up. Cause lately all it ever does is change. Feels like we're only talking, talking. Going round and around, back around I will fight like no other every day My sweet friend Ashley dropped by yesterday to bring me flowers for my birthday and she also got me all the balloons and some cake and was so sweet so love that I'm gonna just live every last second of these until they completely deflate <laughs> but when I got home right now I had a package of these new built puffs I just want to share with you guys I always talk about the built bars but the puffs are probably my favorite thing on their site but they do not have them year-round so they just came back out with these for a super limited time so I just want to make sure I tell you guys if you would like to snag them because they always sell out so currently on the site you're gonna see the puffs in churro this is the churro flavor 140 cal 17 grams of protein you're also gonna see these ones here, the coconut marshmallow, 17 grams of protein, 140 cal, and then we have the banana cream pie. Same macros. Um, what I would personally suggest, if you have never tried these or you don't know which flavor you like, go ahead and get the mix box. So it's a box of 12. You get four of each flavor, and they're all super good. I mean, these are coated in chocolate. They're super um, like soft and creamy inside. What I could compare it to is the Three Musketeer but with very low sugar and very high protein. So it has great macros if you're looking for that kind of like chocolatey taste after you eat, you know, dinner or lunch and you want that like midday chocolatey snack. These are incredible. I talked about them a lot last year when they launched the puffs and then they went away for a while, but they are currently back on the site. 
Also, I really do just want to tell you guys how thankful and appreciative I am. If you use any support code of mine, I greatly appreciate it. That obviously supports Christian and I. And after just having a break and coming back to making YouTube videos, I am so thankful for any one of you guys who want to try any of these and you use my code. You are directly supporting me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So if you want to replicate my exact meal prep, these are the groceries that I purchased today. I got them all from Target. The groceries themselves only came out to $102, which I thought was good. I was trying to stay under $100. Um, the Tupperwares were a separate cost. I actually left the store without getting these on complete accident that I had to order these on DoorDash. Um, so these were extra. If you already have Tupperwares, obviously use whatever you have, but this is the haul for the entire week if you wanna uh, make the exact recipes. Just to go over what seasonings and stuff you'll need. You will need taco seasoning for the chicken recipe that we're doing. I completely didn't know that the one I bought was hot. I personally always rather have the mild one just cause I don't like my food too spicy, but do whatever you do. These are my personal favorite kind of everyday seasonings, Himalayan salt, black pepper, garlic and herb, lemon pepper. You will need some parsley. You'll need some cooking oil or cooking spray, pink Himalayan salt. So what we're gonna do for breakfast is we're gonna do um, strawberry cheesecake overnight oats. So I'm using the Ziploc twist and lock you could also use mason jars, whatever um, container is the perfect like portion size for overnight oats, go ahead and do that. Also, if you've seen overnight oats and you're like, dude, they're in every meal prep video, they're so boring, I totally agree. I actually didn't eat them for a very long time, but then I found a new way to make them, which my son loves. So it's actually including a little jello packet and some sliced almonds. It turns out really good. So I'll be obviously going over in detail how to make each meal, but yeah, those are what I got. For protein, we are doing farmed Atlantic salmon. I did want to get this fresh, but Target only had it in the freezer section, so I just went with it. And then for the other protein, we're doing chicken, which I'm going to pre-marinate in a huge Ziploc bag with that taco seasoning and a bunch of other seasonings. Then we just have a bunch of vegetables, carb sources. We're going to have the overnight oats. We're going to have chicken salsa bowls, kind of like chipotle bowls for the lunch prep. And then we're going to have creamy mushroom, a creamy mushroom sauce over the Atlantic salmon with some veggies for the dinner prep. You will need some mushrooms, some heavy cream, some Parmesan cheese to make the mushroom sauce. I'm doing a little topper of chia seeds on top of the overnight oats along with some vanilla Greek yogurt. For the chicken bowls, I'm doing black beans. I'm also doing some pinto beans, some salsa. We got a little minced garlic going on. So this is pretty much my entire Target haul which will last me for an entire week of prep. So let's hop into exactly how to make each recipe. All right guys, I'm just gonna do a little voiceover because I feel like it'll be so much easier. So for the morning, uh, basically I made strawberry cheesecake oats. I've made overnight oats before, but these were incredible just adding in the jello packet and my son loved them. I made this meal prep last week, so by now I can tell you that Christian has devoured them all. He loves to eat this before school. So if you have picky kids, I feel like adding the jello or some type of sugar-free something in there. Um, with some good flavor will be helpful for the kids. Um, so I'm just chopping up some fresh strawberries. There's tons of versions of this overnight oats recipe on TikTok and Pinterest. You could do blueberries, bananas. You can customize these with honey and sliced almonds, whatever you want. But basically I am just putting mine in a Tupperware. I'm doing half a cup of rolled oats. These are the Red Mill version from, I think I got them at Trader Joe's. Then I'm just using Almond Breeze 30 calorie vanilla milk. And you just wanna put enough to cover the oats. I'm also doing one scoop of the unsweetened uh, vanilla Greek yogurt. This one's from Target. It's the Good and Gather brand, but literally do any yogurt that you have, Chobani, what have you. Then I'm just adding in some whole chia seeds from the same Red Mill brand. I believe you can buy that brand at Target as well. It was either Target or Trader Joe's that I got it, but I'm just adding in some chia seeds there. And then the ingredient to really pop the flavor is the Jello. This is just sugar-free. So it's only 10 calories for the whole packet and I split it up between four here. So I just put a quarter in each one and it will give it that strawberry taste as well as that red coloring. Then I'm adding in some sliced almonds. These Tupperwares were honestly way too big for what I was trying to do here. I should have bought ones that were like half the size because that's really all you need, but that's all they had available on DoorDash. Um, 
So I'm just mixing everything up and then I'm basically just gonna top it off with fresh strawberries and you're good. Like super easy. You could do pineapples on top, blueberries. I've seen a lot of people do like overnight banana oats where they do honey and just fresh bananas on top. That would also be really good. And a lot of people ask too, like do you heat them up in the morning? I personally just eat them cold because I don't wanna throw this entire thing into the microwave and obviously make the strawberries hot because no, ew, period. <laughs> so I personally just eat them cold, but these are definitely the best overnight oats that I've ever made. They're the tastiest. And like I said, they have the most flavor and my son really likes them. So sometimes getting him to eat a full breakfast before school is hard because he'll just be waking up and he'll be a little groggy and he's not super hungry yet, but I want to make sure that I give him something high in protein to start out the day, just kind of get his mind and brain working and everything. So he's ready to go to school and learn. So incredibly easy. So for the lunch prep for the week, we're doing homemade chicken chipotle bowls. I put all the ingredients up on the screen for you guys. Obviously feel free to substitute out for whatever you want. But for me, I was doing the boneless skinless, excuse me, chicken breast from Target. Basically, I just went ahead and sliced a bunch of slits into the chicken. So the seasoning would seep in. Also, before you start anything, you do want to prep the oven, uh, turn on the oven to preheat at 350 to 375, depending on your preference. Um, but basically I'm just chopping up a bunch of different colored peppers here. I also got some green ones in the fridge. I don't think I got a clip of that, but this is pretty much like your own DIY chipotle bowl at home. These will last from four to five days in the fridge. You just have to be really careful with the avocado as well. And then of course you don't want your protein to go bad, but I've recently learned if you just squeeze a little bit of a lemon on top of the meal before you put it in the Tupperware for the week in the fridge, it does last about a day longer. So I personally just put some taco seasoning on top of my chicken breasts and then I'm kind of really pressing it into the slits there into the protein itself so it can like really seep in there. And then I'm feeling, feeling, what am I saying? I'm putting uh, all the peppers just on the sides. This is basically like a one pot meal situation. If you don't like peppers, you could choose any veggie here and just fill up the rest of the pan with any veggie that you personally like. I like to do some salsa on top here. This one is from Costco. The salsa really just sinks into the chicken as well and mixed with the taco seasoning whenever it's done is so, so, so good. So I just did an array of the peppers there and threw it in at 350. Then I'm just straining and washing black beans and pinto beans. Obviously just rinse them till all the bubbles are gone. I rinse these for like way longer, but no one wants to see that footage, boring. So I just rinsed all those. Again, it's just like going to Chipotle in your local like hometown. You can literally customize your bowls to whatever you want. I've seen a lot of people do like browned onions. I personally didn't do onions because I wanted Christian to be able to eat these and he doesn't really like onions. But I just did a little mixture of the pinto beans along with black beans. Then when the chicken was done, just slice it up. And then you're just basically going to portion it out based upon your goals. If you're going to do four ounces, five ounces, six ounces of chicken, what have you, then I just put a little array of all the veggies on top. I believe I also put some avocado slices on top. Then moving into the second meal, a different protein source, which was the salmon, I decided to make this little like mushroom buttercream sauce that I saw on where did I find this? It was on a YouTube video or, or a TikTok, I believe. But you basically brown all the mushrooms. You put them over some light butter as well as some garlic. I'm just going to let that simmer while I make the salmon. I was trying to get fresh salmon, but Target didn't have it. So I went with frozen. So I'm prepping out four portions here in the air fryer. I'm just putting lemon and herb garlic seasoning, which is pretty typical. I put that on all my protein. Then I'm putting a bunch of lemons over top just for a little bit of, you know, decor, a little bit of flavor, all the above. I put my air fryer on 375 for 18 minutes. Then I just put extra seasoning on top of the lemons, pop that in there, and then I worked on the sauce while that was cooking. So I basically put about three cups of mushrooms, garlic, black pepper, and then I put some heavy cream in there. And you're supposed to just keep this on high until it boils, then put a lid over top, then put some fresh parsley, mix this around. I will say since I've already had that, since it's been a few days, I would put less heavy cream. So you really don't need as much as you think. And then for the side on this one, for the carb source, we're gonna be doing red and yellow potatoes. So I basically just uh, sliced all those up really small, put some spray there so the seasoning would stick. And then I did pink Himalayan salt, a little bit of this no calorie nacho, like cheesy seasoning. I feel like that tastes really good on potatoes. Um, you can find that seasoning in the popcorn aisle. And then I put a little bit of pepper as well. This is another like one pan situation. I put asparagus on the other end. I just had already washed that and then put some garlic salt on top of that as well. Super easy, literally just pop that in the oven and then you're good to go for your veggies for the side of your meal for the week. So I believe I cooked those only for like 12 to 15 minutes. I also went ahead and cooked up eight cups of white jasmine rice for the week to just have my carb source on hand. So I'm loading this up in the bottom 
and then I put the salmon on top when that was cooked. It took about 18 minutes in the air fryer. It came out literally crisp to perfection. It smelled so good. So I popped that on and then boom, look how freaking good this sauce looks. I'm telling you, once it was like boiling and you could smell the mushrooms and the parsley, literally so, so, so good. So I just took the veggies out when they were done, all crisp and ready, put the veggies on the side of the rice and the salmon, and then I just topped everything with this mushroom cream sauce. And let me tell you, so freaking good. If you do not have half and half, definitely just use like an Alfredo sauce for the dressing, and it will also taste really good. I used to do that with pasta. I would do like Alfredo sauce with parsley, and it was so bomb. Um, and again, if I had to redo this, I would definitely use less half and half than I showed you guys. So you don't need to go too crazy on the half and half. Otherwise it just tastes like an overload of dairy, but that is a little garnish seasoning and we're good to go for the dinner meals. So that is going to do it for this meal prep. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'll have more details listed down below for you guys. And let me know if you guys decide to make these meals.